story that should serve as a reminder that you never know what's going on in your neighbor's home. Five females, and this includes a 14-year-old, rescued from a far north Dallas apartment that police say was used for human trafficking. CBS 11's J.D. Miles with your new information on the arrests. This neighborhood with high-end homes, senior living centers, and upscale apartments is the last place a lot of people would expect to find a hideout for human trafficking. But experts tell us tonight it's not surprising. These are the two women charged with human trafficking and compelling prostitution. The apartment where they were living has been the focus of a months-long investigation by Dallas police after two victims reached out for help. It's surrounded by a neighborhood where Diane Lowe lives and walks her dog. I mean, it is shocking. Um, you know, you hear more and more about human trafficking and um, people trafficking in general. The location fits the profile of traffickers, according to a UTD criminologist, who says of the 12,000 victims found every year in the U.S., Texas is the state with the second highest number. Dr. Timothy Bray says there are subtle signs you can spot among your neighbors. These victims will not want to engage in any long-term social relationship with you. Uh, they won't want to approach anybody who's in an authority position. Uh, a lot of times they'll have, you know, sort of ongoing evidence of injuries. One of the five victims rescued from the apartment on the 5900 block of Arapahoe Road was 14, so according to the co-founder of Poetic, covered. which is a social agency that offers school and trauma therapy to as many as 100 child sex victims a year in North Texas. I think the age of the girl shocks you. But that is the average age of a girl or a youth who's exploited or trafficked is. That agency, Poetic, is hoping to reach out to those women and girls who were victimized and help them get into a safe home and onto a better life. In Dallas tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.